One of the things that breaks me up when I go to a jazz club, I go, you know, I go to a jazz club first to hear the music, but second of all, and, and this is a very important reason, to dig the people. The people in jazz nightclubs are the funniest. You sit there and, uh, and just dig these people, you know, and it's, it's like the greatest entertainment in the world. Like you, like you dig to your right, and here's like a real Peggy Ryan type chick with a polka dot dress on, you know, like with eight foot polka dots. And like she's sitting with a cat in a Glenn Player double breasted suit. First of all, he's got shoulder pads. You know, right away, that's a clue. He's got shoulder pads. And he's got a handkerchief sticking out of the pocket with a big point on it. Like, if you ever walk into his handkerchief, you're dead. Forget it. You're blinded. That's, you've had it. You know, dig him now. They're, they're sitting there. And let's say Cannonball is playing. And the chick will sort of lean over to this cat. And like in a, what she calls a whisper, I call it a public announcement. She says, where do they sell the dope? So then he gets all hung up because he read Downbeat once and he's a hippie. And he goes, shh, not so loud. And they never have enough for the tab. They never, no matter how much bread they've got, they're always short $3. And like... He's got to leave his Boy Scout card and go back a few days later and pay it. Then you got the Art Blakey fetish cat. Give him a, a stirrer and forget it. They get themselves the swizzle stick and on the rims of glasses, on ashtrays. Then, like, they start on their friend's head to get a real tom tom sound. You know, and then boom, boom on their friend's head. They can make your whole evening positively disgusting. Just sit next to these cats and, ugh. And then they've got, like, a cousin. Probably his mother was frightened by Candido once because he doesn't use swizzle sticks. He uses his palms, you know. By the time he leaves Birdland, he's got the reddest palms on Broadway. Then you got just the loud drunks who yell out things, like Monk is playing in here. Can't hear the melody. You know, that kind of jazz. That's a drag. And there's the chick who says, excuse me, and disappears, like, through the tables, knocks your drinks over, steps on your foot, like, knocks your cigarettes to the floor, the whole thing. She goes all the way to the ladies' room and then remembers that she doesn't have a quarter. So then she comes all the way back and repeats the scene. You just straightened out your table. And she comes back, knocks it over again, and again, like, in a whisper, you know, she calls it a whisper, like, I need a quarter. And the cat goes through his pocket, and he doesn't have change, so he's got to go get change. So he destroys your table. And he gets change, comes back again, and this scene goes on all night. And these chicks, it seems like they, they wait all month to go to the bathroom in a jazz club. Oh, those people, I mean, it's really funny. It's a show. And then the people that work in some of the jazz clubs are funny, too, like the, the cat in the men's room. That's, that's some scene. Did you ever know anybody who used the hair tonic in a nightclub men's room? Now, I've gone to Birdland, I think I was there like the second week it opened. And I was there like maybe last week. And that bottle of Wild Root Cream Oil is at the same level, man. It has never, never gone down at all. Unless, maybe I'm exposing a scene, maybe they water their Wild Root Cream Oil. But like, they have men's cologne and they have to shave lotion and all that shit. And nobody ever uses it, I don't think, man. I think if you ever used it, man, the cat who runs the concession there would flip. He bought that stock, you know, when he opened the concession. Like, and heaven forbid he would have to go out and replenish it, man. And, like, you can really hang him up. You don't want to wash your hands. Boy, does that hang him up. You say, no, man, I'm a pig. And the chicks, the chick comes over and says, like, uh, would you like your picture taken? You know, and you tell her 18 times, man. She comes back at least 18 times during a set and asks you the same question. God forbid you nod your head. Imagine like if your neck was a little stiff, so you nodded a little bit, like to straighten out your neck. Before you know it, man, she comes back and you're on book matches. She's got calendars with your picture on it, menus, the whole scene. And like she also hands you a bill for $46.